Hey guys, Zane here with another One Take Review, and today I wanted to talk about the new Elucid album, I Told Bessie. I Told Bessie is the latest solo album from rapper Elucid, whose work under the Arm & Hammer name with the extraordinarily talented Billy Woods has ascended both rappers to about as close as you can get to legendary status without being legends in the proper sense of the term. Woods' solo catalog, something that's worth an entire video to dive into with just how much quality work is in there, has made him a genre fan favorite in his own right. However, the other half of Arm & Hammer in Elucid hasn't really impressed nearly as much as his counterpart. I Told Bessie seems to want to change that, at least to some extent. I Told Bessie is a dirty and at times even brutal record, yet at the same time it never reaches the same levels of density or even heaviness as some of Elucid's peers that are currently coming out of the alternative and underground hip-hop scene. Although nowhere near as experimental as some of the work that's coming from Elucid's peers, I Told Bessie is still a very impressive record in how it demonstrates Elucid's very powerful, direct, and straightforward style of performance and delivery, as well as just how powerful he can get in that delivery. The personality of I Told Bessie is especially an essential part of it, as that was something that many people began to question, including myself, after the release of the lackluster Save Yourself in 2016, which frankly left a lot of people wondering if Elucid could really squeeze that much personality out of a record on his own. I Told Bessie seems to kind of reverse a lot of opinions that were created because of his previous solo effort. This can really be traced back to Elucid himself, as, as I stated before, his performance style is unrelenting and extraordinarily direct. Meanwhile, his songwriting and lyricism is intelligently weaved together in a way that very few rappers at the moment in the underground or in the mainstream are able to accomplish in the same way. The cold yet slightly odd writing on I Told Bessie is a nice contrast to the surreal production, something I will touch on in a moment, but at the same time the lyricism here still maintains its surreal qualities and abstract aspects that obviously mirror the production in some form, in a some sort of resemblance I suppose you could say. The production on I Told Bessie is quite honestly where the record's biggest success lies. While Elucid is definitely one of the perfect types of MCs to be behind the mic with this sort of alternative style of hip-hop that is being presented on I Told Bessie, his work wouldn't even amount to half of the quality that is eventually brought to the table on his latest record if it weren't for the long list of people behind the scenes in the making of this album. A variety of producers are attached to I Told Bessie, which includes but is not limited to the likes of Messiah Music, the production slash pop duo child actor, and even The Alchemist, who in his own right is going on to be a sort of behind the scenes legend in his own way. I mean, look, ever since this decade started, The Alchemist has just been killing it back-to-back -back with every single project he's been involved with for the most part. In fact, I would argue that we're at the point where The Alchemist is slightly more respected as an individual than some of the artists he ends up working with and improving. I digress. Virtually every producer manages to create a sort of surreal atmosphere in their own way, though it does vary from track to track, which is something that severely contrasts the very direct and unrelenting style of Elucid's sort of delivery, his writing style, even though that can again be surreal in its own way, his general personality, and his coldness behind the mic, it all ends up being something that definitely differs from one aspect of the record to another, but it ends up surprisingly working out beautifully in the end. While it does ultimately lead to some individual tracks kind of bleeding into following tracks, losing some sense of individuality, if you will, I still do think that I Told Bessie is an excellent example of slightly psychedelic production being used in underground and alternative hip-hop music, and if I'm being frank, this record produces a kind of sound and atmosphere quality that I was really looking for in earlier albums of the genre from this year, such as Earl Sweatshirt's Sick, a record I was incredibly disappointed in, and I Told Bessie and Elucid's work on this record, as well as the production work behind the scenes on the record, are all things that I really, really love about abstract and experimental hip-hop. So overall, I Told Bessie is a major, major step up for Elucid's solo work. 
While I certainly had always been a pretty major appreciator of his work with Billy Woods under the Armand Hammer name, I've always felt that Elusive solo work had slightly missed the target. It's not to say that he's ever put out anything god-awful or anything like that, it's just that quotable lines and even some beats that he's chosen to use, his delivery on certain records that he's released under his name as a solo artist, just really haven't been up to par, or at least not the par that he's set for himself in other projects and on other albums he's featured on. I Told Bessie decides to not repeat the same mistakes from his previous solo records as it's as dark and impenetrable as it needs to be while still maintaining psychedelic and experimental qualities that few rappers of the same kind are able to elevate to the same way in the same fashion, and ultimately this results in a record that frankly surprised me with how great it was. With I Told Bessie being released, a lucid solo career is definitely going into much better pastures that I think are much more suitable for his style, which is why I'm going to give this record four stars out of five. I mean, it's not a masterpiece by any means, and again, like I said, some tracks do blend together a little bit due to the style and production choices of the record, but that's not necessarily a major flaw either as an entire listening experience, because overall, I would argue that I Told Bessie is one of the most cohesive rap albums to be released in this year so far. But again, four stars out of five, and with that being said, that's the end of this review, and I'll see you guys in the next one.